Hey, Walking Discovery crew, Steven here, and today I'm with James. James, Rose. we're doing our Thursday walk. James, how are you feeling today? Good. <clears throat> so we're walking around your neighborhood in North Baltimore. What do you love about living in Baltimore most? Baltimore. What's that T mean? That's Baltimore with a Q instead of an E. <laughs> Baltimore Bal with a Q instead of an E at the end? Baltimore. Are you putting Qs in between every letter of Baltimore? <laughs> no. <laughs> it sounded like you were. No. How would you pronounce your name if you put Qs in between all of your letters of your name? <laughs> J -qu a -qu m -qu a -qu <laughs> well, what if you said it fast? <laughs> that would not be a really smart way to spell someone's name, would it? No. Be a little inconvenient to pronounce. Uh, <laughs> as we were going on our walk today, James, you were having a tough time getting out the door, right? Yeah. I was having a tough time getting out the dune door. Uh. Why'd you say dune door? I changed the R to an N. <laughs> so what was the trouble with you getting out the door today? I was having trouble... Wait, was it trying to transition? Yeah, I think. Were you? I was already standing. Yeah. Does that count as a transition? So you were trying to transition from standing in the kitchen to going out the door for a walk with me, right? Yeah. Wait, does that count? As, a, As tra a transition? I think it does, yeah. For some people that Walking would be... away from the counter? Yeah. No, it doesn't. I think it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. Walking away from the counter to the door. If it was a transition for you, then it was a transition, right? Yeah. But you ma we made it. And now we're walking. Yep, and now we're walking to Sherwood Gardens, right? Yeah. All right, James, let's get into some questions because I think everybody would benefit a lot from learning a little bit more about you uh, because you have such a unique perspective. You're a musician, right? Yeah. What type of music do Wait. you make? What does that say? 540. 520. 520. That's how long we've been recording. 524 now. Yeah. So you're a musician. And what type of music, uh, music do you make? Uh, electronic, ow. You make electronic music? Yeah. Do you produce it yourself? Yes. And you use programs on your computer Sometimes to... Sometimes they do collabs. Collabs with other artists? With other people. Local artists in Baltimore? Like Max. Like your teacher, Max? He's your beatbox instructor and... Yeah. Kind of like a life coach, mentor type of guy? Well, nearly every song I've done... With Mac is a collab. Yeah, because he's helped you produce, right? Yeah. So what's your process for making music? What do you mean? Like, do you have a creative process? Like, do I have a creative process? That's what you mean. Yeah. What does it normally look like, if you don't mind describing it? I... 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 So when you sit down and make music at your computer, what goes through your head? Different things. Could you describe it? What does it look like? My creative process. Yeah. Uh, are you asking how I feel? Sure. Yeah, you're asking how I feel, right? Yeah, that's how you want to take it. How do you feel when you're making Wait. music? What does your creative process look like? What, 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 what do you mean exactly? I know what you mean. I mean like, right? when you sit down, how do you get into the zone? What makes you want to start writing music? I know what you mean, right? I think you do. Yes. How do you get into the zone? Uh, I write down a melody. Okay. Sometimes. 
So it starts with a, a nice little hook or a melody. Mm-hmm. And do you write that in your head or do you write that on the computer or on the piano? On the computer. Okay. And then what happens after Wait, you... Wait, do I come up with it in my head? Yeah. You mean? Uh, That's what I was just trying to ask you. Yes. So cool. And then I write it. And you write it down? And it makes me feel... And it makes me feel... Glad. Makes you feel glad? Making music. It's great. Glad and happy. I love that. Glad and happy. (laughs) Glad and happy. And so when you have that, when you're in that glad and happy state and you have that melody, what comes next? Is that when you start collabing with your mentors or is that when you start adding more like bass and That's drums? That's when I start adding bass and drums. Okay. So you kind of just build it spontaneously? Yeah. That's awesome. That's a skill not many people have. It's pretty cool that you're... Uh, so creative with your music so what does it look like when you get stuck like this you no f- no you can you be honest you freeze up your body freezes is that what happens well I, I froze a lot seven months ago yeah but now it's happening much less. It's happening much less. That's great. Um, and when you get into those creative blocks and you're stuck, whether it be physically or mentally, uh, that really makes it challenging to stay consistent with making your music. Getting stuck means not moving forward. Yeah, not moving forward. That's a hard place to be in. A lot of people get stuck, uh, especially when you're working on creative challenges. It can be even more difficult because you want to be passionate about what you're doing. But if you're stuck, it kind of takes the fun out of it, right? Yeah. And then it becomes like a chore, like something you don't want to do. Very relatable. I've been through a lot of similar creative challenges. Um, So getting stuck is one. Raindrops. All right, James, the last time that we talked on a video, uh, you mentioned something really interesting that I wanted to follow up on. And it was something like uh, that being an autistic person um, affects the way that you see the world and in turn it really affects your music. So could you elaborate on that a little bit? Being autistic helps me connect different musical ideas together. Wow, that's a really cool, interesting... That's a good answer, right? I think that's something that makes really incredible musicians is the ability to link different styles together or different elements, different instruments together. And, I mean, if you listen to your music, you know it's all over the place. You go from, you know, electronic music to dance music to, um, you know, all sorts of different styles and elements. That's a really interesting take. I think it's really interesting... The way that you look at music, it's a really unique perspective. I was just wondering, uh, what are some of your goals with your music? Like in the future, what what would you like to accomplish with your music? Hmm. I would like to work in a music studio one day. Okay. You already... One day. Well, you already intern at a few music studios, right? Mm-hmm. Local Baltimore music studios, like radio stations, like WLOY. WLOY. Did you do any other W-I-P-R. ones? WIPR. Yeah. WIPR. Stages. Stages. Music, music arts. arts. What else? You've been there, right? Yeah. So when you. When you're working in the music studio in the future, when you get that job, um, what type of work? Producing? Yeah. Would you like to help others produce their music? No. Would you like to produce your own music? Yeah. Wait. I'd help others. (laughs) That's nice of you. You've helped me produce music Uh, before. I mean, 
Even? <laughs> it's raining. All right, we're heading. Sorry, I called your mom. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. We've been talking for 45 minutes. Can you believe that? No. That's a world record for us. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You're doing really good. We're both doing great today. All right, James, we're getting to the end of our walk here. Thank you so much. Talk. M- our talk, not our walk. We got a little bit more walking to do. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Wait. Was it fine to say walk? Yeah, you can. Yeah. We're just chatting. But thank you for joining me and talking about music and life and everything in between. Welcome. Um, where can people find you on the internet to listen to your music and support you? SoundCloud. SoundCloud what? What's the, what's the name? James B. Good. That's James B. Good on all streaming platforms, right? SoundCloud, Spotify, yep. YouTube. Yep. The whole thing. All right, James. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'll see you next Thursday. See you then. All right. Bye. Peace. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video with our Walk and Talk series, Episode 6 with James. Remember to subscribe to Walk and Discovery, like the video, and share it to anyone who you think might like it. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to take the extra step to go check out James's music in the links below. He's on all streaming platforms. You won't regret it. All right. Have a great day.